Tommy, good afternoon. I'm fine. I just left the bank. Yeah, my brothers and sister just called me up for a meeting, so I have to attend before I come and see you and check. All right, no problem. All right, thank you. Where are you? All right, all right, no problem. why we are here today is for us to know when we start sharing our brother's properties. But the lawyer is wasting too much time to re uh, reading the will. But the lawyer has already told us that Brother Jack kept everything to the sunshine. Okay. Why are we worrying our heads to protect him? Ha! Brother hated us so much! Ha! By the way, where did that boy? I mean, where did that boy? Brother, this one that you start asking after the will. Today, have you finally made up your mind to keep the boy? Yes, of course. As the oldest man in this family, it is my responsibility to take care of that boy. So, Angelin, bring that boy to my house. Did you hear me? Bring him to my house. Brother, why the sudden change of mind? How dare you ask me that kind of a question? Are you more related to him than to me? I'm just wondering what's going on because I intend to keep him in a protective custody until I find something out for him. Oh, and you think you can protect him more than I can do? Yes, of course, because you said that before. Look at Angela. Angela. Ma, where is Jesus? I'm sorry, I can't disclose where he is for security reasons. What nonsense are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, Angela, I'm old enough to be your father even though I'm your senior brother. Have you lost your senses? No more respect. You can't even listen again. Angela, brother is supposed to be the one to keep that boy, not you. Well, I'm sorry. With due respect, I will not touch you. I'll let him take my leave now. Tell Angela, later. Angela, come here. Bring that boy to my house, this man. Did you hear me? I said, being that man, you started your own. This was how Jack started when he was alive. On me, he never had me one day. Look at it now. Where is he now? You started your own. Small rat. I'm talking, you cannot listen to me. Actually, she was stubborn, so... Will you shut up? Go ahead and untie her. Go ahead! Sorry,
the boy and even the girl my friend where is your partner well well we were intercepted by by the police and they shot they shot solo I, I guess they must have taken him to this police station and the girl did i hear you say the girl too yes sir I wish I had a gun. I 
I will just shoot you. Oh God, I regret ever having to introduce you fools to anybody. Do you know what you're doing? But it, it wasn't my fault. I won't stop it. Again. Why? Since my brother and his wife died, neither you know myself and rested. The police they are aware of it and they don't even they don't give this thing a serious thing. Well remember, I'm a policeman. And I will follow this case to its logical conclusion. I promise. So you cannot make anything happen. The best option is for myself and Junior to leave town for a while. Because the commissioner of police is involved, and any more involvement from you, you just just make you lose your job. Well, uh, gentlemen. From the way things are, we have to go extra mile to get the ball. It is obvious Chief Eze has failed us. Excuse me, I am failing. Now the boys you just introduced to me failed us. All right, but as far as I'm concerned, the chess is still on. All right, and I won't rest until I get those boys. I will not rest. For how long, Chief Eze? How long is it going to take you? It doesn't matter how long. Okay, gentlemen, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Please sit down. I'm taking over from here. I'm going to use my men and our facilities on ground to track them down. So there's no cause for alarm. I can throw in some soldiers if you want. Oh, no, 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 General. Don't say that. That can't work. It will only arouse curiosity. What will the people say? Oh, no, what would they think? Say, say, say. It, it, it doesn't matter what, what parameter facilities we use. All we need is we must get that boy, and that boy must. So no point for argument. Gentlemen, why do we still argue on this? I think we still have a judge brother on our side. Oh, why don't you use him if need be? I think that's a very good point. Sure. I, I do not want to see them anywhere. Now. You just shut up and listen up after we're in this together. Thank you. I'm going to partake in the goodies of that. 
Things have changed for better. You can see my new look. <clears throat> this is just 90,000 naira. It's for you alone. Just have it. Ah. No. Why? I can't accept this money. You, you're scaring me, brother. Please. Where do you get all this money from? Because have you forgotten I play coupon? Fine, only yesterday I won 3 million naira. <laughs> and God just used this money to shame all these people who think that I cannot be able to take care of Gino. And besides, you know how close both of us have been in the family among every other person. You know, we are just tell our tempers, don't you know? So I just have this in because you have this. <laughs> it's just, uh, what is 90,000? More better things will come. Thank you, brother. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, not. Um, by the way, Ngozi, where did the Angela keep Gino? You know? I don't know. Because they are not telling me the truth. Because you are the only person Angela confides in. Yes, brother, but what do you want to know? I am the oldest man in this family. And it is my responsibility to train up Gino. And besides, Angela is the youngest child of her mother, yet unmarried. Don't you know that? It could happen that, that tomorrow she may have one useless lover. A young man may take her away. And she know, you know, she has all the documents belonging to her late brother. Every uh, of her brother's documents is with her now. Those that Junior is supposed to have. And you know, we are going to lose everything if that is not taken. So the earlier we start checking her, the better. Don't you think so? You are very good. But I don't know where Angela took Junior to. When she is so stubborn that she did not even disclose to you. You have all people in Gaza. She didn't tell me anything. She didn't what? tell me anything. There's no problem. Uh, but uh, I know that things have started changing. Ah. But uh, you know, eh? if she tells me, I'll tell you. You can see with uh, me. I'm happy for things you. Things have started changing. Let me go and get you something you like. Okay, guys, I'm waiting. Oh, brother, thank you so much. Thank you, I've taken over the entire state. I'm going to Abuja right away to report to my former boss, the AIG. You know, I, I was his personal assistant and I worked closely with him for about six years. It's also a point again, Christian. Are we going to stay here alone? Well, you don't need to be scared. I'll be leaving with the first flight and then I'll be back by noon. I've already called him on the phone and I think uh, he's ready to help out. That's everything you need. This house, and the kitchen is stocked full with food stuffs and drinks. Nobody knows that you are here, except those that you've told. You must not leave this house. Is that clear? But if for any reason you want to leave, use back exit. There are eyes all over the neighborhood. I know your photograph has been flashed on, on, on the tally. So you must be very careful. Is that clear? Mr. Chris is my name. I'm from the police state headquarters. So what can I do for you? Yeah, um, you are 
assassin for this lady. In connection with a kidnap. She kidnapped a little boy called Jack Jr. An information reaching us says she is being seen around the neighborhood. Do you know me? No, sir. I'm ex Stanley of the era in command. And I think somebody of my status would never have us such a criminal of such status in my house or this neighborhood. This is more serious than I thought. You are fighting with a very powerful and organized people. They, they, they even changed their tactics. I met one out there now. They are searching the entire neighborhood from room to room. They even declare you wanted on air. They are really desperate about it. But there's something we can do to stop them. What is it? Look, Angela. To protect you, we must fight back. And that's by implicating them and then busting the black hood nonsense and bringing them to put for murder charges. How on earth are you going to achieve that? So your membership includes government officials, to commission of police, and even top businessmen and women in this society. something for you and your, your small brother. Eh? This is your house. Feel free. Get up. Go to the kitchen and get something, please. Eh? Please just get up. Go to the kitchen and get something. Just get up, my dear. Junior, get, get up. up. Just Angela, get up. Go to the kitchen. Just get up. Angela, get up. How are you now? You are feeling fine. 
I hope everything is alright. You're welcome. Do you want to drink some minerals? Why? Feel free. This is your house. Come there. I'm your uncle. See, I'll just sit down and get some minerals. Huh? Feel free. Okay, so let your auntie come prepare some minerals too. to know that the IG also is interested in this case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about 10 of his men are coming in from Abuja today. Yeah, they want to follow this ritual list and then investigate them properly. Yeah, unless I forgot, that's about Junior. It's fine, okay, it's all right, it's all right. I'll call you as soon as they come to time today. It's okay. So, so familiar, but have we met before? It's exactly what I'm trying to remember, sir. I 
I, I, I know we've met before, but where and when is, is what I can, I can remember. You have a striking face. Yes. You're, you're Mr. Stanley. And I'm Superintendent Stanley. Yes. And you're, you're a police officer. Of officer. course I am. Oh. Uh, actually, sir, um, like three years ago, your, your boys arrested me for, for, for stealing... Stealing and kidnapping. And then the, the people you committed crime for. Muzzle their way into the commissioner's office and bail you. Uh, but if you if you can remember vividly, I, I advise you to stay off crime. But I know you never did. Not 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 really, sir. Actually, sir, well, when when you gave me the advice, I, I didn't take it seriously because I was I was overwhelmed by the calibers of people I worked for. And, and the money was so encouraging. You're making so much dough. Yes, sir. And uh, I, I thank God I'm a changed person now. I, I no longer work with them. But just, uh, just a few days ago, sir, the same advice you gave to me uh, made, made a new meaning to me. When um, a, a, man, a man paid me to kidnap a little boy, and um, which I failed, so he, he did this to me. What? How, how did it happen and who are these men that you're working for? Sir, actually I, I've been looking for a way to see you, so that we can, can really see you and, and talk. But, this place is not conducive, so I would appreciate if we go somewhere else where, where we will have, you know, privacy and talk. Well, why don't we finish your phone? I'll wait. You don't need to be scared, okay? Oh. You don't need to be scared of me, okay? Hey, it's all right. Angela. Angela, come. It's okay, it's okay, just calm, just calm, calm down. And this is Rocky. He has been very useful to me. He's been giving me every useful information that I need to arrest those boys. Those guys that want to kidnap your nephew. So he's friendly with he, he, he's, he's one of the people that kidnapped me. I want to calm down. Sorry for everything I've put you through. Actually, I, I, I was used by those people. And like I told Mrs. Stanley, I'm going to do everything within my reach to make sure they don't get your nephew. Once again, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry for everything I've put you through, okay? I'm a changed person now. I'm a changed person now. We all are going to work as a team. Understand me? And like I said earlier, those men are coming in from Abuja first thing tomorrow morning. So we all are going to bust into them, arrest them, and make sure they're persecuted and they're sent us to jail. Is that clear? So let's go to our office.
Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm Expert Stanley from the Iraqi Command. You are under arrest in connection with the kidnap of Jack Juno early hour this morning. I did not kidnap him. He's my small brother. I took him to his father's friend. I did not kidnap him. Where did you take him to? For his father's friend for safekeeping. He told me he would take care of him. Tell me the truth. I'll shoot you now. That is the truth I'm telling you. I did not kidnap him. Yes. And where is the place? It's somewhere in, in downtown in Lagos. Yes, I. A lot of time. And this is a cat. My brother's friend. That's me. That's me. That's me. Information reaching us that they bought you a new car. And I guess this is a car because there's no number. I rented a new apartment for you. This is the apartment. Is that not so? Now get into the car. Get into the car! Get into the car! Get into the car! Get into the car!
verse 15 says on the day the agreed one shall be offered to the supreme one of the black hood the heart shall be blocked off and the blood shall be drained and offered on to the supreme one of the black hood
Oh, 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 oh,